United Airlines has a new CEO this morning. United ousted Jeff Smysik and two other senior executives on Tuesday. Their departures came five months after a Bloomberg News investigation led to a corruption probe at the country's third largest airline. Jeff Begays is in Washington with details on the allegations of influence peddling. Jeff, good morning. Good morning. The federal investigation that prompted the high profile change in leadership continues at issue whether United executives attempted to curry favor with a powerful government official, an official who was at the center of the lane closure scandal known as Bridgegate, which continues to complicate New Jersey Governor Chris Christie's presidential bid. Late Tuesday, United Airlines announced the shakeup. Its CEO, Jeff Smysik, and two other top executives were out. Jeff's departure is in connection with the company's previously disclosed internal investigation related to the federal investigation associated with the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey. Investigators are looking into United's dealings with the New York, New Jersey Port Authority, which runs New York's airports, tunnels and bridges, and whether airline executives attempted to influence David Sampson, the Port Authority's former chairman. United added a money-losing flight from Newark to Columbia, South Carolina after Samson reportedly joked at a dinner with the airline's executives that adding such a flight would help his family travel to his wife's South Carolina home. At the time, United was seeking approval for millions in improvements to Newark Airport, where it is the biggest carrier. Coincidence? Probably not. CBS News travel editor Peter Greenberg says this incident is sure to expose the way airlines have been doing business for years. The question is how much is offered, how much was delivered, and is it serving the public interest? The flights were in service from September 2012 to April 2014. They stopped shortly after Samson, an appointee of New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, resigned amid the so called Bridgegate scandal. It was alleged at the time that Samson and aides to Christie, working with Port Authority officials, orchestrated lane closures to the George Washington Bridge as political retaliation against a local mayor. On a call with investors, United executives called the controversy and the change in leadership there a blip on the radar. The airline says it is cooperating fully with the federal investigation. United named Oscar Munoz as its CEO, the former head of rail giant CSX. Gail? All right. Thank you, Jeff.